going to choke if you eat and cry at the same time. Please, could I just have this place to myself for a moment? Sure, man. I just thought you might have needed a yeah, little... Yeah, all right. All right, all the same. Only, have you thought of letting Jesus into your life? Oh, Jesus Christ. That's right, man. Cry to the Lord and he will hear you. Why is the Lord a sodden hay? And stop calling me man. I'm sorry, man. I mean... Just go away, get born again, resurrected, anything. Seriously, though, you're in trouble, aren't you? Yeah, so what? So maybe I should throw you off my steps? Because you're on private property? And the Lord don't hold with people in trouble? Where is this? This is the Gospel Hall. The tabernacle of the risen Saviour. Jesus Christ! That is the second time in two minutes you have called upon his name. Who are you? I am Gabriel, caretaker of the Gospel Hall, without stipend. What does that mean, Angel? It means I'm unemployed, but at least I got the vicarage. And don't blaspheme. Now, do you have a home? No, you're asking me in. No, I, I only got one bed in there, and the elders don't allow uh, visitors or pets, so... Get um, moving. No, man. I got somewhere you can stay. Yeah? Sure, man. Gabriel. I said I'll come on Sunday. Hey, wait now, sister. There's a woman out here who needs shelter. Yeah. No, I'm sorry to walk on you. I'll be off now. Not so fast, Mother Mary. Look, Vivian has two kids in the council home, and she's out on bail. Come in. Look, I really don't want to disturb you. Yeah, it's fine. It's cool. We'll get it fixed, OK? It's just that it's all, it's all. Oh, it's fine, sweetheart. <laughs> You're fine here. We'll get it fixed in the morning. Okay? Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. It's your kids, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's the bleeding kids. Good morning. I better get going. The kids will be wondering where I am. What's the hurry? They're not going anywhere. They've never been away from home, and I don't know what these council places are like. I've got to get to a phone, find out what they've done with them. There's a phone here. Do you mind if I use it? Don't mind. Why should I mind? 
help yourself. I have a cousin in Kingston who owes me and I phoned every Johnson David from Johnson DA to DZ in the International Directory. I'm sure a local car won't bother the landlord too much. They're engaged. Would be. The number of loonies they have to deal with. Is I that bad? Listen, we haven't seen a soul except for Gabriel for days. I'd have talked to a ghost. It's fifth sharp here. My two kids been in care a couple of nights and I want to collect them. I'll make some breakfast. Hello? Yeah, that's right. I need the address. You've got a choice of corned beef or um, close your cream rice. Well, it must be around somewhere. Hello? Is she from the size of the site? How much space there'll be for... Listen, I only want to fetch my kids. You, what's going on? Well, you're the third person I've spoken to. It's like getting blood out of a stone. Are you sure you've got the right house? Of course I've got the right house. What do you mean you're having a conference about it? Uh, excuse me, missus, can you... Done a tick. Why should I come in and see you? This is crazy. Listen, if you wouldn't mind. Give us some peace, love. I've got an idiot on the end of this. Well, what'd you expect me to call you? Will you pay attention to me? Just piss off, dickhead. Can't you see I'm talking? Don't you speak no, to me you. like that. Eleanor, I can't hear myself think. Yes, All right. Going on. Where's your office? Fine. I'll be with you in half an hour. Now, do you know these fellas? No. Right. So who are you? I'm the owner. Huh? Done it up really nice. And who are you? Oh, I... Oh, I'm just, um, a solicitor. Your flatmate, is he? Up it. You've got one minute from now. I've got to clear off! Just clear out, OK? I've got to change it, baby. Can't you come back later? Uh, Mr Collins, 30 seconds I call up on you. You can't go around threatening people. Out! Out! Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mr Collins, the law does not permit you to resort to violence in order to repossess. Yeah. 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 Me. Come on, babe. I don't want any trouble. Something to go with your team. Thanks. Oh, heck. Hello, Mr. Collins. How much have you been charging them? I haven't taken a penny. He said we could stop here free till he started work. What harm have we done if you're tearing the place down? I just couldn't do it, man. I do decorating, not interior demolition. Never trust one of the brethren. You racist pig! You ought to try a bus shelter park bench. Come on, love, we're not stopping here. That's what I said. Now listen, you two. Uh, uh, I'm sure Mr. Collins did not intend to be personally abusive. Oh, belt up, Uncle Tom. That is entirely uncalled for. I, I don't like to say this, man. Woman. Woman! But you may have misunderstood Mr. Collins. Yeah? Only brethren, that's what we call each other at the Gospel Hall. That man's a Christian. He's one of the trustees. Yeah, well, look, I'm sorry if we've messed you up. That is cool. The Lord will provide. He owes me money. Guess I'd better go and remind him. You got anywhere to go? <sighs> got any friends? Only one I want to see. Look, I got to collect me and Lenny Vaughan. Why don't we meet later? Go and find your kids. I've got problems on my own. What'd she say? She doesn't know. She must know. She doesn't know where mum is. They expected her to phone. Thought they put her in jail. If that are out. Then why hasn't she come up? Neil, if I knew that. All right, all right. She'll be here. Yeah. You're going to put her back in jail? No. She didn't do anything that bad. She hit that copper? Yeah. And she stole the food? Yeah. And she crashed the car into the van? Yeah, Neil was there, remember? So what'll she get for all that? I don't know. Fine, I should think. But we've got no money. No. So I'd love to put her in jail? No, they don't do that nowadays. What do they do instead? They will. They sort of keep an eye on you. Huh? Sure. 
Want to game cards? And what'll he do with us? When? When Viv's in jail. She's not going to jail! Right. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. I'm Barbara Merrick. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Sure, I'm in no hurry. Now, before we start, is there anything that you'd like to ask me? Yeah, why am I here? I've got to collect the kids. That's just what I wanted us to talk about. They are all right, aren't they? They're doing fine. I spoke to the house mother a few moments ago. They're settling in splendidly. Well, it's not worth it, really, see, because I'm going to collect them. Shouldn't today. you leave them with us till you get your court case over with? No, no, that's OK. I appreciate the offer and that, but um, I think I'd rather fetch them today because Neil's never been away from home before and Yvonne or she's going through that funny So you'd with... like to take them straight back to Liverpool? No, no, I won't ever go back there. Bruce will be in the flat. Is he violent? Who, oh, Bruce? He's terrified of violence. Oh, I see. Is he mentally cruel? What do you mean? Does he torment you? Sometimes. Don't know. What's the matter? I've had enough of him. Your husband came to see us yesterday. What? He wants to take the children home himself. But he doesn't care about the kids. He's never lifted a finger for them. Viv, he was very understanding. He's worried about you. He said you were under a lot of pressure and might do something that could harm the children, Neil in particular. He said that? You don't believe him, do you? If I can't ignore him, especially in view of the police report. Also, I spoke to your social worker in Liverpool. Hang on a minute. We don't have a social worker. Really? Didn't you know that Neil was on the children at risk register? You're joking. Oh, no, not another one. Someone had reported that Neil was being left on his own a great deal. Who? Who reported I don't it? know. A neighbour. But Bruce is supposed to look after Neil while I'm at work. How can you believe a word he says? Listen, Viv. I'm sorry. I don't know you. I don't know your husband. And I can't afford to make a rash decision. You have to return home today to fulfil the conditions of your bail. And on balance, it's safer if you leave Neil and Yvonne with us till you and your husband have sorted yourselves out. So we've applied for a place of safety order. What's that? It's a, a document issued by a magistrate that enables us to look after them for 28 days. By that term, your case will have been heard and everything will be a lot clearer. You mean I can't have them back? Just for four weeks. And you knew that when I walked in? Perhaps I should have explained immediately. It was me thinking that you were a woman with kids of your own and that you You'll were some... You'll want to see Neil and Yvonne before you go. Here's the address. Any time after three. Here's my office number. If I'm not in, leave a message and I'll contact you as soon as I can. And that's it, is it? <sighs> Listen, you needn't take my word for any of this. If you feel you need legal advice, go to this address. You don't need an appointment, and you don't pay. You lot have really got this sewn up, haven't you? Hiya, Dad. Neil! <laughs> <laughs> Yvonne, how are you doing? Where's Mum? Is that all the welcome again? Isn't she coming to get us? No, they've sent her home, so you got me instead. OK, kid, let's hit the hard stuff. What do you say? What? Where did he brew up round here, Divvy? Upstairs. Come in. So how are you treating you? Looking after you, all right? Yeah, it's OK.
Sorry to keep you. Please sit down. My name's Eddie. Eddie Patel. I should have known it, Eddie. I beg your pardon. I said I should have known it, be you! I'm sorry about the fire alarm. It's the building work. It simulates smoke. Fuck the fire alarm. I'm going. No, please. Don't go. It's not safe in there, is it? I'm very glad you're here. I'd like to explain. I don't think Mr. Collins behaved very well this morning. I'm suing him. What for? He assaulted me. You were a witness. And then you bit him. Yes, yeah, self-defense. Oh. Well, I'm very sorry, but if you're here to sue Roy Collins, I can't help you. What a surprise. You lot are like the Mafia. Getting him planning permission on legal aid, are you? Mr. Collins is not a client of mine. What are you doing with him, then? I have business dealings with him. Ah, wheelings and dealings. It's entirely eh? above board. What's it about? I represent a group of like-minded people who... I don't have to answer to you. What right have you to barge in here and cross-examine me? Happens to me every day. Listen, if you wish to proceed against Mr. Collins, I can't stop you. I can't represent you myself. Because you're a witness. Because I already have other wheelings. <laughs> dealings with Mr. Collins. And one of my colleagues might conceivably be prepared to advise you. But I'll warn you now, you haven't got a hope in hell of getting a Tupney Red cent out of this. Do you go on like this all the time? Because I think I'll take my custom elsewhere. I must have been mad seeing as you were recommended by a social worker. Listen. Hold on a sec. You want to watch that one? Make sure the door's left open when you go in. What? And the social workers know exactly what happened, so with any luck, I should have you out of here by tomorrow. Why don't you and Viv get on? What? Why don't you get on? We do, Neil, we do. Sometimes. Sometimes. Funny, I'm trying to have a rap with Neil. Could you give us some space? Don't listen to him, Neil. He's full of it. Well, she's grown up with her mother's manners, eh? Listen, Neil, I know I'm not the best of fathers, but we've always been good mates. Why don't you look after me? Easier said than done, Neil. She's not easy to live with. Yes, yeah, she is. She's great. Why don't you help out with the washing and stuff? It's not a man's job. You'll learn that as you get older. I love her, Neil. I've always loved her. I'm just not... The right man for her anymore. Are you divorced now? Well, not straight away. I think maybe we should have a trial separation and then we might even get on better, you know. What, separated? Yeah. How? Oh. Wouldn't it be great if you came to live with me? I know I haven't been too groovy of late. Comes to not having much to do. I've let myself go. I know that. Do you remember when we went to Stonehenge? That was great, wasn't it? Moment spare. Yeah. Well, that's her problem. And anyway, she won't be there to push us around much longer. Where will she be? Well, she may be away for a while. In jail? No, it's not as bad as it sounds. We'll be able to visit her.
realise you were telling She's crazy, she's gone friggin' crazy. <laughs> she's crazy. She's crazy. She's crazy. She's crazy. Please. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Mr. Patel, please. I have an appointment. I see. Who shall I say it is? Mrs. Collins, Mrs. Roy Collins. Oh, my God. Mr. Patel, it's so good of you to see me at such short notice. Uh, listen, I can't possibly see you here. Hey, if there's anything you wish to ask, I'll be at the advice centre tomorrow. Eddie, don't do this to me. Not like this, not here. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll just get my coat. Know Eddie really well, Mrs. Collins. We have met. Well, that really is extremely inconvenient. I do like to keep my work at the advice centre quite separate. However, since you're here. How dare you? I mean, how dare you? Dare what? You know perfectly well what I'm talking about. Barging in the hand of false pretenses, making insinuations in front of my receptionist. You're not sleeping with her, are you? No, I'm not sleeping with... <clears throat> Can't you keep your voice down? I'm sorry, I just knew you'd join me out. Absolutely. And I wanted to apologise for being rude this morning. You are giving me a reputation. No, I don't care if you're a bit bent. I just need a just, proper lawyer. Just tell me what you want. Only let me warn you. Two things. Firstly... I'm not bent, as you put it, not even a little bit. I don't know where you get the idea. Secondly, if you ever come here again, I shall throw you out personally. Thirdly, if you then attempt to sue me for it, you'll have as much luck as you will suing Mr. Collins. Are you all right? Bugger, Mr. Collins. I just want my kids back. Oh. Why? Where are they? Council home. Well, why didn't you say? You haven't given me much chance. Yes, but why come to me? I mean, here, like this. Because you're the only lawyer I know of. And I thought you might be different, but you're like all the rest. Two-faced creep. Track suit for the advice centre. Pinstripe and bloody cashmere for the office. Get yourself a brolly and you'll be laughing. Hey, hang on a minute. Hey, listen, I didn't mean to be objectionable. Let me buy you a cup of tea. You're not a bleeding dossier, you know. <sighs> what time is it? Hmm? Oh. It's 25 past five. Come buy me a drink. <laughs> Good idea. Listen, you mustn't judge my appearances. Pearls are just a disguise. I'm a sort of mole at Do you always talk this much? Yeah. I like words. They're subversive. Like the law, you know, open to interpretation. Neil? Neil? Are you still there? I think it must be my fault. What? Viv and Bruce. The way they get at each other. 
Oh, it's not your fault. Anyhow, do not ever let us go home now. Do not let him feel come here again. How do you know? That woman was on the phone. She didn't know I was listening. What is it? Tell me, kid. She said you're too old to stay here. I'm not going to take it away from you, Hardy Fun. That shouldn't be difficult. Eddie, give us a hug, will you? Yes. Yes, of course. Have you got family? Yeah. Parents. Oh. Well, I'd offer you my spare bed, only they watch every move I make. <laughs> You still live with your parents? More or less, beyond the block of flats. Ah, so that's where Mr. Collins comes in. Property Whelan's, eh? Oh, no, nothing like that. Essendon Road has been done for redevelopment since the 60s, and, well, I'm advising the council what to do with it. And they listen to you, do they? I... <sighs> well, yes, actually, they do. I'm quite involved with the Labour Party. That helps. And what are you telling them? I belong to an arts trust. It's trying to attract an international festival to Bristol. Oh, God, one of those culture vultures. Essendon Road could be very good news. And there's a church we could use for fringe events. Gospel Hall. Yeah, and there'll be space for restaurant, recreation, parking. And what does Collins get out of it? Oh, well, he's been rather clever, actually. You know, everything the council doesn't own, he's bought up. In fact, we're going to need some of his land. Uh, He's getting permission to build a supermarket, I think. I'm not to bother. There'll be nobody left there to shop. Mm -hmm. Big drive-in job. They'll come from miles away. Oh, I get it. Self-service Shakespeare. It's going to be very popular. Culture shouldn't be restricted to an elite. Huh. I'm sure the locals will be duly grateful, Eddie. It's a shame you've got to chuck them all out to do it. No, no, don't, don't be like that. I mean, the neighbourhood's dead. Have you seen the state of that housing? Eddie, you're telling this to the wrong person. Oh, yes. Look, uh, I hope this place is all right. It's fine. It reminds me of home. You promise me you'll get the 743 to Liverpool tomorrow? Yeah. Look, with any luck, the change in bail conditions will be through in 48 hours. I'll come straight back. You'll go and see the kids. First thing tomorrow. And I'll get working on Barbara. Yeah, OK. Listen, thanks for everything. <coughs> You've been really great. Not at all. <sighs> You're good for me. some clothes on. Watch. We're leaving.
And you were at the end. You crazy man. You know what time it is. Shit, I'm sorry if I got you out of bed. No, you didn't. I ain't been to bed. I've been up all night playing father confessor to another screwed up chick. And just when I think she's ready to come forward and embrace the Lord and accept his infinite mercy and grace, well, she climbs into my bed. <coughs> the Lord surely has a strange way of rewarding his servants. Will you quit mourning? I sat for five hours listening to that gospel garbage, hoping at the end of it you might be man enough to keep me warm. And what do you, you do? Just mind what you say, woman. Your soul is in big, big trouble. Yeah? Mr. Shaw. You better have some very good reason for waking me up. Do you know where Viv is, Granddad? God's truth is you. Where's Viv? That's what I just asked you. Well, how should I know? I'm cold. We want to come in. You in trouble? No. Viv in trouble? No. Well, all right. Christ, I haven't had any of this stuff in years. <laughs> Bruce used to live on it. The dope, the bite, the long hair. <laughs> Christ, we do ask for it, don't we? Trouble is, I've always liked fellas. If only Danny had been a woman. <laughs> this is good stuff, this. Where'd you get it? Jamaica. No kidding, holiday. Sure, five star. Well, what then? Family visit? Business. Your cousin David, who owes you money. He does, doesn't he? David's not my cousin, he's my man. Well, one of them. Off and on. Anyway, he got this idea about settling over here. Get away. So where is he now? I don't know. We should have been here two weeks ago. Oh, I'm sorry, love. Viv. Where's Danny? Yeah? Would he be interested in buying a few kilos of this? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's what me and David were retiring on. Well, don't go to Danny. They don't like newcomers around here. David said we'd shift it easiest around here. Yeah, with the right dealer. He told me to... He told me to get it through customs and come to Bristol. They gave you the easy bit, didn't they? And then wait for an advert in the paper. I'm still waiting. Does he know about this? I don't know what to do, Viv. So where have you got it stashed? <sighs> Excuse me. Pardon me for asking. Under the floorboards. Back at Essingdon Road. Hi, Eddie, it's me, Viv. Listen, I gotta get back inside Essendon Road. What? When? Well, where have they gone? Me? They don't know where I am. Jesus, Eddie, how can they mislay a couple of kids? They're not left luggage, you know. Council homes aren't prisons. Children are abscond all the time. Then what's the point of sending them there in the Mr. first place? Mr. Curran, I'm sure the police will pick them up in no time. You should have given me them when I asked you. What happens if their mother gets hold of them? I expect they'd survive. 
Oh, yeah. Dad, have you seen the kids? They're with Danny. They're what? With Danny. Well, he's Yvonne's dad, you know, Viv. She wanted to see him. Viv! Right you are. Bye now. Can I help you? Danny, where is he? Mr Hopkins won't be in today. Well, where's he gone? He didn't say. When will he be back? I don't know. Did he have a black girl with him? Younger than you. And a boy of 11, white. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, well, tell him I want him back, else there'll be trouble. I'll be at the gospel hall. Well, who shall I say called? Viv's sharp. Run his business, do you? No, I'm just looking after the phone. Ah, one of his girls, eh? That's none of your business. You poor sod. Tell him if he does the same to my Yvonne, I'll slit his throat. <laughs> There's Bristol over there. 200 years ago, slave ships left from there to take us from Africa to the Caribbean. And then they came back here with sugar and tobacco that we grew for them. But 200 years later, instead of the sugar and tobacco, they have us. <laughs> you like it? Yeah, it's great. Yeah? I've read about Africa. I'd like to go there. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm sure Africa is a very nice place. But we don't need no Messiah. All that Rastafarianism is dead. It's as dead as King David. Nah, the kingdom is here, you know. It's here. And it's now. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> oh, it's you again. He's not back yet. No sweat. Listen, that woman who just left. Yeah? She said where she was going. Gospel all round by Essendon Road. Are you sure Danny's got the kids? Well, last I saw him. Tell him to hang on to them till I get back. Don't let that woman near him. She's trouble. <laughs> sometime, okay? Hello, police, please. Hello? It's about the two kids missing from children's home. Yeah, that's right. Well, they may be with a bloke called Danny Hopkins. Runs a minicab firm in Saxony Street. Drives a green BMW. Hmm. Well, they could be with the boy's father, Bruce Curran, and drinks at the Lock and Key. Just keep an eye out for them, will you? Need any help? Money, shelter, me kids back, otherwise, no. You should try the women's centre. You a social worker or something? No. Do I look like a civil servant? No. Oh, God. You want to be of some help? Just hang around, this could be difficult. Mum! Mum, you've been looking everywhere for you! Where have you been, oh. Sue? Look, it'd be you, what do you think? Down at bloody Bristol's been looking for you. Nice to see you still around, Vivian. From what I heard, you should have been out of town by now. Yeah? Where'd you hear that from? <laughs> now, if you want to leave young Yvonne with me while you... Go back to where you came from. Who could I? No thanks. We're staying with a friend. Me? Cheryl. How do you do? <laughs> it's very nice to make your acquaintance. <laughs> uh, you look after these kids, yeah? And uh, come and see me sometime, right? Sure, I will.
Not now, love. I have a feeling we better move. Who is it? It's me, Ben. Where you been? Have you any idea what's been going on here? I've been on the siege. Hey, you got them back. That's great. I don't know for how long. The cops are after him. Sister, you can do this to Gabriel. me. Gabriel, this is Yvonne. And this is Neil. Right. And this is Eleanor. Right. And this is Cheryl. She's just saved my life. Hi. You need a full-time bodyguard. And I ain't applying. Your husband was just here yelling about those kids. Man, he was wild. I thought you was he. Right, you better get moving. You have any luck with that liar friend of yours? No. Shit, I've got to get back inside that house. What house? Essendon Road, Rondi Carno. Eleanor was Doss in there. How'd you get in? He had a key. You still got it? I gave it back. But I do have even song coming up in half an hour. And if you're all still here, that won't look too good. You were in there and you just went. We've been planning to squat Essendon Road for weeks. Yeah? Who's we? Bristol anarchists. Mother Mary! Anarchy's where I draw the line! They're pulling it down to make room for a supermarket. And a culture palace, this place goes with it. That's one heck of a bad joke, sister. It's not a joke. Have you heard about the redevelopment? No. They haven't even bothered to tell the tenants. There's nothing wrong with those houses. They've just been left to rot. Right. So what is going on in here? We going to be pushed around forever? Well, they take your kids, they take your homes, now they take your place of worship? You women better do something about this, you know, cos nobody else will. Yeah, thanks, Angel. Any other advice? Hey, Viv. Look, listen, I could get you back in there now with no hassle. I've got ladders and torches round at base. I could get Billy round here in half an hour. You can't break in there, man. That is private property. This is just the right moment. You're all homeless and those houses are empty. Trust us. We'll get you in and keep you there. Sure, I'll come. I'm sure she'll come. Viv, oh, open the door. Look, there is a back door. Come, come, come. Right, let's go. Get in there. Look, I have no idea where they went. I left them outside with their mother, like I said. Did you know the girl was supposed to be in care? I'm a simple man. I don't understand these things. Did you know she was underage? Yeah, sure, I know that. Get one that nice, you know. I thought you were supposed to be leaving us people alone. Did you proposition her? <laughs> Not many people will take offense to that. That girl's my daughter, man. Your daughter? Are you saying that a black man can't take his daughter for a drive? Always like this. Hard to stop it. Oi, Billy, shift yourself, love. You suspect me? They were there half an hour ago. I'm sure of it. Did this man is a public nuisance? Look, just search the place, will you? In the middle of my service? All right, all right. It's not my fault he's lost his wife. Bit lower. So it's not the right size. Still, best we can do. Suppose. How many keys are there? One. Someone's got to be in all the time. Really? Well, it's against the law if he breaks in while the house is occupied. You think that'll stop him? Sure. He could go to jail otherwise. Possession is everything. Have you checked if it's still there? In the middle of this circus, how many wheels do I have to split it? Billy! I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get this through. Oh. I shouldn't be here. Why not, Neil? Well, it's all women, isn't it? I should be with my dad. We'll talk about it in the morning, Mother. Come right? on, Neil, let's get some food going. You any good at cooking? It's not a bloke's job, cooking. Yeah, well, it is now. That's uh, is that all. It better be. <laughs> Turn that thing off. This lock isn't secure yet. Sorry. Just put some blankets up. We could do without this just tonight. Bonnie, oh, where's that toolbox? Okay. I'll be round the corner shop. Mm. She could do the change. Right. right. Back in a second. Still no idea where they've gone. No, sir. None at all. Gabriel. When someone stitches me up with the cops, I take it very seriously. Now, if you're hiding out, I'll 
I'll be very hurt. Man. Danny, you know me. Would I risk offending you? Mm -hmm. Evening. Well, well, what brings you here then? Disposable nappies and a pint of milk. Babby tea then? No, she needs them for the other end. Yeah, well, I did know that. Oh, good on you. How much is that? This will cover it. You still living around here then? Yeah. Nice, is it? Sure, you like it. Shame they're Come back here, you! Get out the bloody way! Come here, you! Funny! Don't you go in that house! Come here! Come back here! You. This is, this is a legal warning of the Civil Six of the right Criminal Law Act 1977. Take notice that we live in this house, it is our home, and we intend to stay here. That at all times there is at least one person in this house. That any entry into this house without our permission is Eddie a criminal Patel, offense. As any one of us who is in physical occupation is opposed to entry without their permission. Eddie, we're in trouble. But if you attempt to enter by violence or by threatening violence, we will... Shut up a minute! We're taking over a Sindon Road, we're squatting and we're not leaving till we're dragged out. So you better decide where you stand. Yes, of course I'm keeping the kids. Do you think I'd let them go again after all this? Yeah! What do you mean, lose them for good? What? So strong.